reason why I stopped posting on the channel that you've been watching since Classic launched was because on 24th of February, everything stopped for me. On the 24th of February, the war started. Rocket strikes hit my city and I had to leave. I had to get in the car. Me and my wife had to leave four in the morning because that's when the explosion started happening. We went west of Kiev for the time being and I haven't been home. A helicopter assault on an airport outside of Kiev. Close, intense fighting. I've been trying to upload here and there. It was hard. I didn't have a good place to work from. I didn't have the emotional stance. I did what I could. I think the quality kind of sucked. My back hurts a lot. Uh, I'm having back issues since like, since probably playing basketball too much. And everything stuck piled. It got difficult to get down to work and keep pumping up the episodes as I used to. And I kept on going and after I think four months of war, I might be wrong on the dates. The channel got hit with a demonetization as well because YouTube has been cracking down in general on highlights channels. It's a tendency that has been starting to pick up since 2018, 19, slowly grinding and eventually it uh, was inevitable for my channel as well. That hit me emotionally even further because I've been running the channel for three years and I fucking loved it. I, I loved running the channel like since 2019 when we first went into Molten Core. When we then stepped into BWL, we had ZG. Uh, man, even the fucking most hated dungeon out of all that I, I just despise AQ20 so much. But now that I look back at it, fucking getting boots from Buru the Gorger was a better feeling than seeing a Warglaive drop in BT. Because there was scarcity for loot, I think I loved vanilla so much for it that it was just absolute fucking joy to be doing this type of content in a game where you would value a legendary drop would actually be freaking legendary and you would not have shitload of purples just lying in your backpack. Purples are no longer fascinating. It's the legendary Warglaive and Thoradol, the two items that you were actually excited about in TBC. And I think this trend of scarcity of loot ruined the experience for me in a way that you're no longer as excited for most of this shit. Vanilla was the prime time for me. What I'm saying is I really, really value the time I put in. I don't regret a single, a single second. I, I gotta be honest, I'm not sure how to move from here. I could keep moving with the channel. That's why I wanted to make this video to ask you about your opinion too. Because there's a way of keeping the channel sustained through third-party sponsorships, but I don't, I'm don't. i not gonna be feeling good about overwhelming you with ads every second, every third video, just to keep up the channel running. <clears throat> but if that, that could be an option, I wanted to bring it up to you to discuss with you whether a format of such is still worth keeping up. Plus, I've seen a huge decline since Sunwell came up. I guess overall, like, you know, it, it was a different contrast how the tendencies picked up with Nexramus and how they were with Sunwell. I understand in terms of difficulty Sunwell is a challenging one. It's a challenging raid and it is interesting for maybe first three weeks. But once you get it sorted, it I don't really feel the atmosphere that much. Uh, maybe I'm just not a fan of all the Blood Elvish looking architecture and everything looking like Tempest Keep 2.0. Nexramus has a distinct feel for it and I think the general layout of the raid was absolutely phenomenal. The boss fights were historical, were legendary in comparison to Sunwell just being so dull for some reason. Like the boss fights aren't even that boring, there's mechanics there. But perhaps you're not as connected to the bosses themselves that you fight and the surroundings of it, right? People are not big on lore, but they are feeling good when they can relate to a story. And perhaps Nexramus was something that people related to better. It's interesting that the end of TBC was on a decline, whereas the end of Vanilla was not such a peak. Even though both of the expansions are following up to a, another one that people are excited about. Going from Vanilla into TBC and from TBC into Wrath. 
And Wrath is supposedly the zenith, the peak of WoW's, the golden time of WoW, right? So you'd think that that's the Wrath prep, right? But Wrath prep popularity didn't come around until pre-patch. Everybody got fucking bored of Sunwell. I think that for a lot of people, Sunwell coming up was depression time coming up. Maybe I felt, I don't even think I felt that because of war. I was depressed because of war, obviously, but I think I was also partially depressed because of what state TBC was in. I'll have to think about why that was happening. What I wanted to discuss uh, is whether to continue moving with this throughout Wrath and Dragonflight. Since I started running this channel in BFA when I was started, when I was just like getting acquainted with arenas, and I fucking loved it. I loved Arena so much and I've seen that there's absolutely no content on YouTube to watch, to learn from, to experience different classes, the highlights of what streamers are doing weekly, as opposed to like League of Legends, CSGO and Dota, which are, you know, gigantic. The channels that are making the game popular on YouTube exist for every other IP, but not for WoW. So I was thinking like, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying BFA a lot, even though how stupid that sounds right now. But I did enjoy arenas at start, before corruption. And then, like I started, you know, like why not popularize WoW there on YouTube? So I posted my first video on Reddit, on a WoW subreddit. It got picked up, people loved the idea, which seemed like a very simple one. Like people have been doing highlights for ages, I'm not the first one who came, who, who came up with the concept, but for some reason nobody was doing it for WoW. And I remember like enjoying WoW a lot since 2004 when I was just playing it casually. Now that I get, got back into it, I'm like, why the fuck is this game that I loved so much back in the day is not getting popularized on YouTube as much? There was content of, like, of individual people, 100%, but not in a way where you would drive a lot of people to Twitch to watch live streams. And that was, you know, basically a platform for new people who are starting to stream WoW to have an ability to grow, to get the first initial viewership. Uh, that's why it was so important for me pff, to have everybody included in the description, in the pinned comments, burnt in the video itself with a visual effect, just stating like who each streamer is, so you get acquainted with him and you can easily find his channel and get to start watching him if you liked him. I know a lot of people messaged me about this and they got insane amount of influx of people visiting their first streams as well, which lived up to my expectations of what this channel would be. Now the real question is, do we keep up with Wrath of Lich King and Dragonflight? I'm sure as hell, like, making a Patreon to sustain the channel is not gonna be... ...lasting. Because people watch highlights for a quick dopamine burst, and they don't really give a shit about... ...who makes these highlights, essentially. I mean, maybe to a small extent, because people have been watching this channel rather than others, but... I understand the psychology of how the viewer approaches viewing highlights. Having a Patreon for this is not going to be sustainable in any way, so I want to rule that out. The other one is having third-party sponsorships to help sustain the channel in every second, third video. I had a lot of offers for these sponsorships. I did a sponsorship relatively rare, like at starters, I think I did it once a month, once to every two months, and like then later on, it just like absolutely stopped because I just wanted the content to be fast, you know, and giving you what it what you want but at this time it's kind of inevitable so i'm thinking between fully doubling down on my own stream and my own content or keeping up the youtube highlights channel as well with the help of third party uh, sponsorships which i'm not really excited about and that's why i was thinking of maybe just saying goodbye and uh letting the channel be serving as an archive for vanilla and tbc memories that we had the purpose of this video was to bring it up uh, and to ask you for advice what would you do? What would you like to happen with this channel? And where do we go from here? Because I do want to try Wrath. I do want to double down on my own stream. But I know this has been like a huge cultural project as well, which kind of brought people together around certain things. This channel basically gave a lot of people context to talk about of what was happening every single week. And I know there's a lot of channels 
that are popping up that are smaller right now that are starting to do the highlights as well so you guys could watch them competition is always good there's going to be highlights for you to watch 100 percent i just know that you liked my highlights better because i added them better because i make them fun and i'm trying to decide what to do with this i loved vanilla most i did tbc i love the fact that arena's with her that's the best thing about tbc overall i think wrath is bringing in much more utility and um versatility to classes and exciting burst abilities outplay potential for each single class that makes the expansion overall much more enjoyable than what tbc was in terms of pvp and pv but it does not go overboard the amount of new abilities that each class gets it's on the brink of preserving class identity versus going into something that you're just a jack of all trades able to interrupt cc regenerate have sustain have burst you have all these attributes that any other class has and you have an answer to any challenge which happened in retail wow recently that's what the people have been complaining about no longer a class feels like a class well wrath of the lich king seems like after i tried warrior and wrath it seemed like a perfect balance on the brink of going into a little bit overboard on the amount of utility you have and preserving that maximum excitement and enjoyability from playing a certain class that's why i think wrath is a is a big deal and even though the trend might not last I, i'm still interested in covering it just having like what best moments of the week of wrath dragonflight you know like it's just dragonflight we can take a look at how it goes but in terms of Wrath, I would like to have perhaps best moments of the week, once a week episode, if it makes sense. And just, you know, every third, every second episode would have an ad. That's how I see how I can move from here. I have a lot of things to talk about regarding this highlights channel, regarding my Twitch, uh, my personal channel, you know, because I have lost pretty much... I have stopped like all the processes of making any content anywhere whatsoever like since for the past seven months but I'm planning on coming back hopefully before Wrath launches and if there's anything you guys want to talk about you can hit me up on my stream I'll, I'll stream soon most likely I'm planning on coming back home uh, in the next few days weeks if it's safe over there I'll stay as soon as it gets dangerous I'll just move out again but I want to try to keep it up. I haven't been streaming for the past seven months. No, uh, you know, like my whole work process got interrupted. And I think it's time to come back. I'll go now. And if you want, you can share your advice.